Hi guys and welcome back. Well, with Intel finalising the Skylake X line up a few days ago, I got to thinking, should AMD be worried about what Intel have to offer after stumbling through Computex earlier this year? With what seemed as a shock announcement they would be offering HCC products in the X299 lineup. This is a first for Intel, with HCC products being reserved for the lucrative enterprise market until now, but obviously they said it had nothing to do with AMD announcing Threadripper to much applause from the HEDT market. So what does the final lineup for Skylake X actually look like? Well, it looks very similar to the previous TikTok nature of Intel's enthusiast range, now rebranded as Extreme. They have finalized on seven different SKUs, largely differentiated by core count, but also annoyingly Intel has continued to make you pay for PCIe connectivity. And let me tell you, it's a hefty price you have to pay at all. If you're looking for 44 PCIe lanes, it's going to cost you $999 compared to AMD offering you 64 at that price point. Intel's lineup starts with the 7800X, a 6-core 12-thread CPU, priced at $389, nearly double the price of the R5 1600, which also has 6 cores and 12 threads. The lineup tops out at the 7980XE, an 18-core 36-thread beast but it also has a monstrous price tag of $1,999. Can't see these flying off the shelves in a hurry. I think it's safe to say that Skylake X will follow the historical trend of Intel's chips, having an upper hand in benchmarking over the AMD competition due to the generally higher clocks and the proven IPC of the Skylake architecture. But this time, unlike in the past, AMD are in touching distance of Intel, and I mean literally just behind. This has been demonstrated all year since the launch of Ryzen with the R3, R5 and R7 lineups gaining critical acclaim from both reviewers and gamers alike. The Ryzen architecture IPC is real and it's only going to improve. Threadripper is also building on this architecture and proving to be very impressive if you can harness all those cores at a very appealing price point. For a real case use scenario, head over to Gamers Nexus and check out Steve using all those cores to help streamline their compression of archival material. So now we've gone through the full Skylake X lineup, should AMD be worried about what Intel are bringing to the market? In my opinion, no. Number one, they actually have an architecture in Ryzen that is now starting to mature and is proving not only cost effective to manufacture, but also is very good IPC for a first iteration of the product. Number two. AMD's products, whether they be on AM4 or TR4 socket, offer great value at their price point compared to the competition offered by Intel, and seem to be in step with what the average user needs in today's market, i.e. a machine that can game, stream, or double up as a workstation, all at a much less lower cost of entry than Intel are currently offering, and will be offering with Skylake X. And at the end of the day, the choice will be down to the individual's needs, but value will always be a massive consideration, and AMD's platform cost is considerably less than that of Intel's. We only have to look at the two current HEDT 16-core offerings from either side. The 1950X comes in at a very enticing $999, with many of the same features that Intel offers, such as quad-channel memory. On the other hand, the 7960X from Intel will cost $1,699, over 60% more than the 1950X with 33% less PCIe connectivity. Even if the 6960X clocks higher and is say 5-10% to 10 faster than the 1950X, I would go for the 1950X. It just offers so much more value to the market for the compute power on offer. Don't just take my word for it guys, I'm no fanboy, I'm just looking at the numbers and they don't add up on the Intel front for me. Market share is already starting to shift in AMD's favour for the first time in over a decade. Mindfactory.de, Germany's largest e-tailer, just think of them as Newegg for Europe, recently reported sales figures from March to August. In March, Intel took up 72.4% of their CPU sales. Fast forward 6 months to August and AMD are now accounting for 56.1% of their CPU sales. That's a huge shift in sales in 6 months, but more importantly it also highlights that the consumer's mindset around CPUs and AMD is changing, which is a massive battle for them to be winning. I know it's one market, but hey, 
it shows that what was once thought to be impossible is now becoming a reality in some markets. And a big thanks to Ingebor on Reddit for compiling these sales data. So guys, there you have it. Skylake X is coming, but is it enough to stop the AMD train in Ryzen? I really don't think so. It looks like prosumers and consumers are becoming more tuned into the value that CPUs offer, and they seem to like what AMD is doing. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that sub button. On another note, guys, I now have a Patreon account and an Amazon affiliate link. So if you're in the UK, please use that Amazon affiliate link and I'll get a small kickback from your shopping on Amazon. Every little helps. Catch you later, guys.